Welcome back to Ross Boss, guys. In today's video, Joey's yet again coming yo, yo. through do? with another gift. But before I get into today's video and set up this Mud Skipper Aquarium, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. So in this tank, guys, well, in the fish room, you might be wondering, like, Rob, where are we going to be putting these Mud Skippers? They're not big enough to be going in the 150-gallon tank. They're not able to go with any of the other stuff in the fish room. So me and Joey were trying to decide, you know, we had to do a little bit of cleaning because, you know, I'm a pretty messy human being, as Joey can attest. You know what I'm Get me started, boys. But it's all good. It's all good. We decided to go ahead and uh, clear out this beautiful space right in front of y'all. Right here. So right here is where we're going to be putting the mud skippers. Now we already have everything ready to go. If you want to see us setting up the tank in the full scape, actually in getting all the stuff, check out Joey's channel. Check it's it going to be linked below. Uh, Aquarium show hooked it up and now we have to bring in the tank and set up everything for these mud skippers. So, all right guys. So now me and Joey just carried in the 32 gallon fluval flex from Aquarium show. The tank is right here. We've got this fluorite substrate right here. We've got a return. We've got filtration and all that good stuff in here, and we gotta get the scape and all the materials to set up the tank for the mud skippers. Now, I've actually got the mud skippers right here. I'm going to be setting up the tank very shortly for the mud skippers. The mud skipper aquarium will be extremely cool to watch, guys. Definitely subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can watch these guys interact in the tank. They're super, super cool, and we've also got a ton of plants for this tank right here. We're going to set it up. We got to rescape it. I took pictures and everything, so we're going to be able to set it up just the way we did and had it at the store for Joey's video. We're gonna start scaping the tank, and it should be really, really cool. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to watch us add the mud skippers into the mud skipper aquarium. And without further ado, guys, we're gonna to get to work. Go for it. All right, guys. So we're here at. Well, we got the tank set up, and now we gotta rescape it the way we had it. So I've got the serenus done right here. And I figured these are probably the bottom pieces because they're completely shaved down. So I'm just going to come through here, put this one in this corner, maybe rotate it a little bit to give it a different look. Yeah, we want to do that cave effect. Yeah, I want it to look like a cave. And then this is going to be a hard part. I'm going to have to move the light a little bit out of the way because this is a sh shelf. This rock is like a shelf. It is super big. And I believe it was down this way. So I'll just throw it in right here and this way they have a way to hide it I'm actually gonna try to rest it against this back wall just so it does if anything if it gets offset by the mud skippers doing whatever mud skippers do it doesn't come crashing into the front of the tank and now I got to grab some other pieces we can put this light back there it looks fire just like that yep good little accent rock right there and then these were the tabling rocks that he had on the top all right guys so now we're back from the timeout we reviewed the tape right and this is the final scape so we're going to have a waterfall off of both rocks and we have stuff to make it so that moss will actually grow over all the rocks will be a really nice platform for these mud skippers we got the standalone rock over here as an accent and then we actually got multiple caves where water will not only work through but the mud skippers will actually be able to move around the aquarium so this fish tank is going to be very very cool now we got to get all the plants and the mud well first we got to get the plants right here we've got all the plants and i'm going to do this dry before we add water back into the tank right here we've got anubius nana petite we're going to be working this in throughout the rock I don't think the mud skippers will really be too, too bad about knocking this stuff out. He definitely had all this stuff out here in the back to fill out the background, grow tall back there. So this plant, I don't remember the name of it. It might be like a, some kind of tiger lily, but it's a super cool accent piece. And I remember it was closer to the scape. This rock might've been further back, but regardless, we're gonna try to throw it in right into this middle break right here. And then we've got some more of these plants. This one, I'm probably gonna throw up front and center right at the foot of the scape right here. I'm not going to split this bulb. I'm gonna leave it as it is until it gets adjusted to the aquarium, but it's also going to be going into this back corner. And we still got more stuff to scape this aquarium. But right here we've got the driftwood for the mud skipper aquarium. Now this piece I distinctly remember was worked over around here, but I'm going to now throw it somewhere right here and then we'll take this piece I remember that was in front of that cave yeah yeah just like that too far back yeah more up front just in case we add some crustaceans to it 
Remember? That would be really game to actually. Guys, comment down below if you think we should add some kind of invertebrate or crustacean to this aquarium. It's gotta be big enough so the mud skippers can't eat it. I was thinking maybe my fancy shrimp, but I don't think the fancy shrimp will actually work because the mud skippers will probably end up eating them. Mm -hmm. But I still might try to see the colony in this tank, but we got some more Nubius Nana Petite, and I'll actually throw it right in this back corner. You know, I really should have got some glue. All the tanks in my fish room, guys, I've actually escaped just freehand, kind of like uh, our friend Tony was doing at the store, where you just grab a bunch of stuff and just kind of just start sticking stuff together, and it ends up kind of working out and looking pretty clean. It's just sometimes you gotta get a little uh, crafty when you're actually stuffing all this stuff in there. But we've still got more of this Anubius Nano Petite, just like Joey, very petite. <laughs> <laughs> Small but mighty, baby. You got that right there. Right there. It's looking pretty fire, man. I'd say so myself. Like, look at these pieces. It's, it was already well done, and honestly, when we took it apart, we were kind of worried that it was going to be tough to put it back together, but it looks like it's working itself out pretty well. I feel like we need more greenery in this area, but right now, I don't have anything I could use. Wait a second, I do. I do have glue. Hold on. So guys, we have super glue. I forgot I had it. Uh, this stuff is really annoying to get on your hands, so uh, definitely be careful. But this super glue is actually going to be really, re really, really useful. Just like ignore that, guys. Pretend that didn't happen. But you got to be careful because it's extremely adhesive. It's super annoying. But this way, we're actually going to be able to anchor everything. So everything you're seeing right now. We're going to be able to set it. So you got to put it in nifty little spots like that. Use the nozzle. Glue it in place. Boom, boom, boom. And this should keep it together. And we could even use this on some of the rocks. But this is how I did that discus tank. And actually, I'm going to take these out of the thing to actually uh, put some glue on it. Because then I'll just be able to press it in place just like so and then even if the mud skippers do rummage around and actually mess with the skate they won't be able to knock stuff out of place and i'm just going to fly around this tank gluing stuff down i'll come back to you guys when we actually have the mud skipper tank completely set in stone and we're filling it back up with some water we've got this really cool moss from aquarium show and it's going to end up encapsulating all of this rock so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take some of this put it right like that this is a very oh god well that floor is ruined and i'm gonna spread it around i'm probably gonna end up with some glue on my hand which is less than ideal but the stream of water will actually cause that moss to encapsulate that rock and eventually the entire rock will be covered with all this stuff so actually i might just try to patch it on and then put some glue down and slide it over and I think just having like humidity will also help this grow. So all we gotta do now is guys, is put some conditioned aquarium water. We got these two totes of java moss, but as you guys know, if you keep planted tanks, you know, java moss can be a nightmare. So I'm going to throw this in some other tanks that I know I have done. My shrimp rack, I've got java moss already situated, already thriving really. So I'll probably end up just throwing this in there. But this is the 32 gallon Google Flex from Aquarium Show for the mud skippers. So now it's time to actually grab the mud skippers and throw them in this tank after we get it topped off with water. So we'll catch you guys in a second when we're adding the mud skippers to the mud skipper aquarium. Oh my God, this thing is beautiful, but it's fire, dude. It did a good job, and we did a really great job recreating it. And aquarium show really hooked it up, but it's gonna run down all the rocks, and this will kind of act like the waterfall. Oh, this is just... sick, though. That actually, if we could get this pointed over here, and it'll trickle. Oh wait, no, it won't because. No, the water, the water will be higher. Will be high it's going to be like a 50% level. You'll see. It works out. But that's the idea. That's generally how it's going to look like, but with the mud skippers inside. But we're going to fill up this tank the rest of the way, and you guys are going to see when we're adding the mud skippers back into the tank, and it's going to be very, very cool. My sugar daddy hooked it up. <laughs> anytime, baby boy, anytime. So this is the finished cave, guys. Me and Joey killed this. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see updates on it. And like the video if you think we did a good job, honestly, because me and Joey, we're not aquascapers, but we got, I think we threw it down. We, we threw it really down, good. baby. This thing looking fire. And in this bag, guys, you can see the mud skippers. I got them temp acclimating as we're filling it up. We've got three of these really interesting creatures in here, 
and they're going to fill out the tank. And guys, comment down to let suggestions below of what you guys think we should get to fill out the water column because there's going to be filtration. It's got some filter type thing here with the flugel that's going to actually bring water up from the bottom and out back to the top. So we're going to be able to actually add more livestock to this aquarium. Let us know what you think. I'm thinking something like rainbow fish, but rainbow fish, I don't know if they're a cool water species. This is gonna be around room temperature, probably somewhere around like 75, 76 degrees, if not a little bit cooler. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to actually get stuff for these guys, but we definitely need some kind of fish in here to you know, add to the tank 100%. You can throw something in the cave to chill. This is sick, dude. So I'm honestly nice. big jelly. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm yeah. big, big, big jelly. But look at that. Fire. So good. You good, baby boy? You so happy? Good. Yeah. Yeah, dude. There you go, bro. I'm happy for you, bro. Aquarium show again. Shout out to them. Putting the plug on this insane skate. Honestly, sponsoring this entire video and everything like that. Look at those mud skippies. Very unique critters to say the least weird Definitely. weird like you buddy. yeah they, honestly yeah i'm a weird man yes sir look at this little kid you little kid little buddy he's <laughs> little just so kid. excited because he's been one of these mud skippers and now it's happening guys right here for the channel go for it buddy all right so now we're going to plug in the mud skipper aquarium hopefully this goes well it's a little loud a little bit powerful it actually knocked off my uh the moss, the moss here but not gonna a lot. It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, all your moss is gone. Not a good but spot. It should be fine. At the end of the day, we're only here for these mud skippers. Now they're itching to get out of the bag. Yeah, we got to handle them at the store. I haven't done it yet. It's and tough. It's tough. Come here, buddy. Hold on. Be Look, careful. See, they're see how gentle I am? He doesn't even mind. See that? One's a little spe special, like you, Rob. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at him. Jumping around. Hold on, dude. Remember, they're amphibians as well. It's kind of weird. Hold on. See him? Uh, we're gonna let him go up. I love the blue speckling on their actual heads. We're gonna let him go, and he's free. He's free. That's so sick. In this bag, we've got two mud skippers, and we're going to be adding them into the tank as well. So this mud skipper aquarium, guys, is going to be super insane. I'm so excited to see these guys grow out. Actually, they're max size, right? I believe so. Yeah, I actually. think they're maxed out. So really, I get a little bit bigger, but look, look, he's already using the plant. Wow, I didn't even Why think about that. that dude? I didn't even think about that. That is already big chilling. Look at how weird this creature is. Look at the size of this guy. This guy is big, big. Come here, buddy. See, I'm a gentleman. They don't. They're not stressed about me at all. They're like, real recognizes real. <laughs> He's a baloney. He's a fellow mud skipper. Come on, bud. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Me and him are best friends sitting right under the flow. You guys, I'm an animal whisperer. Just wait until I actually get real animals. You'll see how good I am. They, I just have a special bond with them. This one's not freaking out at all. It's totally chill. Me and this mud skipper are best of friends. He's super calm in my hands, as you can tell. He's not even stressing it all that much. But now we got him right here in my hand. Don't jump. See, just like that, I've already conditioned him to be my best friend. So we're gonna add the last mud skipper to the mud skipper aquarium. And this fish tank, guys, is nothing like there's one of a kind on YouTube. One of a kind on YouTube. Super sick tank. One, I'm in love with it. Two. Three. And three, the three amigos. The three amigos, guys. Comment name suggestions down below. Like if you want to see more mud skipper content. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any updates. Shout out Joey Slam. Check him out, guys. He's back on YouTube uploading frequently again, making fire content. So definitely check him out. He's linked below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.